is just bad casting. J.K. Simmons will and always will be J. Jonah Jameson. Hey everybody, I'm Josh and that's Earl. How you doing? Alright, so uh, we heard this past uh, day earlier today that Sony has go is going to be going forward with the Venom story with their Venom movies. Whether they're going to be doing a, one movie or a trilogy or a series, we don't know. But me and Earl are here to give you our 12 points as to why we think doing a Spider-Man movie or series will be a bad idea. Venom is a character that, he became Venom for quite a few reasons that won't be in this movie. Uh, mainly pertaining to uh, being relation to Spider-Man. Yeah. You know, so that's not going to happen because the Spider-Man reboot at Sony hasn't happened yet either with the new actor. So I think it's going to be void of any Spider-Man ties. This won't have the traditional Spider-Man and Venom origin in the comic books. Spider-Man was bonded to uh, Venom. He had his black suit and he took it off when he realized it was doing him more harm than good and that gave the uh, symbiote the symbiote to uh, Eddie Brock who was down in a church below who was praying and hoping that Peter Parker would just die. So uh, I don't think Sony is going to be able to uh, give us the comic book version of Venom that we all know and love. Since Spider-Man hasn't been introduced yet, there's, uh, like Josh said, there's not going to be any lead up or the hatred or anything. If they use Eddie Brock, there probably won't be any ties to Peter Parker either. Mm -hmm. So we don't even know if... Venom is going to be Eddie Brock or Flash Thompson, who is also has ties to Spider-Man. Yeah. So we have no idea which alter ego is going to be portraying uh, the host for the symbiote. We don't even know if it'll be one of the known characters. It could be just a new character that they create. Eddie Brock or Flash Thompson. This is kind of going into what you said earlier, but um, if they do... Uh, Eddie Brock, then it will really mess up with their timeline, their story, the origin, because, like I said in another one, it has to link in with Spider-Man. But if they do uh, the Flash Thompson uh, Venom, he can become Agent Venom. But I'll get into a, a bit more as to why that might be a problem in another uh, point. This one's not going to be rated R. I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah. Venom is known for his catchphrase, I want to eat your brains, uh, mass killings, you know, wanting to kill Spider-Man slash Peter Parker. So uh, you're probably going to get a PG-13 at best. Venom is more of a side character than he is a main character. I don't think Venom on his own will be able to... Uh, carry on a series or even one movie. I think that he will be pushed so much into the forefront that it'll just make comic book fans and the general ongoing movie audience just not really care for the character very much. One of the things that they're not going to be able to use in the origin of Venom is the Secret War story where Spider-Man had gotten a costume on an alien planet. Um, that storyline is reserved just for Marvel. Uh, and since it's going to come out before Spider-Man, once again, no tie to Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have to explain what the symbiote is. If, and, and then I'll get another point going in uh, a little bit later. But it's probably going to be something like an Ultimate Spider-Man comics where it's created in a lab, mm -hmm. which would suck. Yeah. And they almost started that with uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Right. Yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, I just think that it's not going to be something from space. It's going to be something in a lab. Because Venom is a very much, he would be a CGI character. I don't think they're going to want to blow the budget on 
a completely CGI character for maybe 90 or 120 minutes movie. I don't think that's going to happen. What's going to be the main character's motive to actually accept the Venom costume and use it? Now, Venom having his own movie, most likely is not going to be a villain. Probably going to be a hero slash anti-hero, which means he can't go around ripping people in half, you know, you know, shooting his webs in their mouth and having them suffocate or biting their heads off. You're not going to see any of that. It's not going to be like Punisher Warzone with Venom yeah. type violence. It's going to be PG-13 because they want everybody to see it. I just think that it's going to be some type of motive for him to accept the symbiote to maybe like um, revenge for his family, uh, revenge for friends who were killed, something like that. It's not going to be for I'm upset at Peter Parker because he ruined my career, yeah. like in the comics. So I think the, the plot for the main character and his reasoning for becoming Venom are going to be totally, totally different and altruistic and not have any ill tones to it. Agent Venom in the comics has very strong ties to Guardians of the Galaxy, so they would have to work in that character into the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, maybe number two, or even uh, the third Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and they would have to bring him over into the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well. So, I don't really see Sony going in that direction. Right. Spider-Man 3. They will remember the Venom from Spider-Man 3 and how much they disliked it. Um, you know, that you had a skinny, snot-nosed, not even a guy to like Topher Grace playing him who wouldn't make you scared. I mean, there was nothing terrifying about Topher Grace. Eddie Brock in the comics was huge. He was like a football player. Yeah. So when he became Venom, he basically Venom wrapped around him, and he had the mass of Eddie Brock, which he was huge. So I think everybody's going to think back, well, this Venom character was from Spider-Man 3, came down from a meteorite from space and attached to somebody's motorcycle and in a church, fell on a... Basically, people are yeah. going to have a really bad taste in their mouth. Yeah, I, I think when they look at it, they're going to be like, oh my God, not this again. Mm -hmm. And it's going to make some people apprehensive. Yeah. Peter Parker and Spider-Man are a part of the Venom uh, lore. They're a part of Venom, who he is and what he's doing. He's trying to, Venom is trying to tear Peter Parker's world apart. That really is what he's doing because Peter Parker was his first uh, host, so he knows Parker better than anyone else in the comic book in the Marvel Universe. So if they want to do a Venom movie right, they have to introduce Spider-Man and first, and then they have to introduce Venom into a Spider-Man movie, I think, or Spider-Man into a Venom movie. I yep. think that would work. Yeah, that would be pretty much the only way to do it. This is one of the only times when it comes to a comic book movie that I will agree that it has to be more like the comic than anything else, or it's not going to work. Yes, definitely. Okay, so that is why we think, this is our 12 reasons why we think doing a Venom movie will not work. So, if you guys have more points, if you guys disagree with us, or if you guys agree with us, let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more Spider-Man videos. So, I will see you guys next time. I'm Josh, and that's Earl. Take care. See you later.